Hey, this is Tim with Perkins Roofing. You can see behind me we are on a tile roof, and today we're going to talk a little bit about tile roof maintenance. You can see these are white concrete roof tiles that have quite a bit of dirt on them. And so I'm going to walk you through this roof and what should be done to maintain the roof, which is not that old. You can see the dirt accumulating. We are on the ocean here. The closer you are to water, it's going to create more dirt, salt, silt, it's gonna get on the tiles, which means that they should be sprayed. And the trick is people think that they need to be pressure cleaned, but they don't because when you pressure clean concrete tiles too many times, first, more often than not, the pressure cleaners don't know how to walk on the tiles and they're probably gonna break them, like here. And second, the pressure cleaner is going to get rid of the color of the tiles. So the color of the tiles is going to start to fade if it's pressure cleaned too many times because the concrete tiles are painted and the pressure cleaner is going to blast the color out of the concrete. So really what you want to do is you want to spray something like wet and forget on the tiles to protect the tiles from algae staining. And if you do that every couple of years with a backpack sprayer or hire somebody to do that who is trained to walk on the tile roof, that's going to be your best bet. Note with concrete tiles and I actually talk about this in my concrete versus clay tile episode of YouTube on YouTube you can watch is they start to chip on the corners of these concrete flat tiles uh, that's just the first sign of wear and tear like this roof is less than 10 years old and you can see the chips are already forming and one important thing too is these hip tiles are different than the field tiles so there are two different tiles on your roof you can see that one is cracked right there and the cracked tiles can be glued back together with a product called RT600, which is basically a caulking. It's like a glue. So you can glue the tiles back together if they're a hairline crack. But if they're completely shattered, then they should be replaced because you don't want the underlayment exposed to the sun. Most underlayments have an exposure maximum of 180 days. And especially down here in South Florida, that sun will kill your asphalt roof. This is a closed valley system. This has a broken tile in the valley. A lot of valleys will have open tile roof systems and those open systems may need to be waterproofed every now and then when the metal starts to rust out but so a closed tile system a closed valley system is what i recommend it's the best system we can see here we've got some broken chips of tile here that can be resealed the thing about tile roofs is this mortar no matter what type of mortar you use we usually use tile tight when we do the roof the mortar over time is going to start breaking off, especially when you're closer to the salt water. That mortar is just going to start crumbling off, so it does need touched up, otherwise water is going to get underneath the tile and it's going to be hitting the paper, and that's going to cause the paper to age and degrade faster. I'll never understand why architects design these little things into roofs like this. You got some little wall here, and all you're doing is going to trap moisture here in this cricket. It's going to get stuck there and there in the corners. And you can see the back side of this wall is all cracked out. And not to mention, they use a very porous tile that's going to soak in all kinds of moisture. Not a good idea. See here, whoever installed this roof used the wrong fasteners. They've been trying to mask it with caulk. You see how the screws are completely corroded? This is copper with metals. There's something called electrolysis when certain metals touch other metals. The only type of metal that can touch copper and not corrode is stainless steel or copper. And we're on the ocean, so that's going to be even worse. Not to mention the incredibly porous tile that they have at this detail. The key that I want to show you that's not really maintenance, well, part of it is, you see the cracked mortar here, but then underneath here at the wall transition, how this, they use copper L-metal, so you're going to use the most expensive type of L-metal that you can buy and they're gonna charge for it too. But then with that copper L metal, all they do is caulk above it. Really, the stucco should be coming back down over the metal. If you're gonna pay all that money to use copper or stainless steel or aluminum metals on your roof, then you should stucco back over it and your roof should go better than to leave it like that. Check this wood too for splinter. This is a bit complicated of a tile roof, but standard tile roof maintenance is just going to simply be cleaning the tiles and putting algae spray on them. And then I showed you an example of a closed valley. And then here you have an open valley on this one. 
So probably there were two different roofers who did this roof. One started and one finished it. But these valleys here, over time, they're gonna need to be recoded because all the water is hitting that valley and running down. So that's a very important detail when it comes to roof maintenance. Also, replacing completely shattered tiles, gluing back the cracked tiles with RT600, checking your flashing metals, like up here, and wall flashings to make sure they're sealed because it's a very soft spot, and so are any vent penetrations, so stack vents, or lead stacks for kitchen or bathroom ventilation. Those all need to be checked. Even adding gutters can help prevent fascia damage when doing tile roof maintenance. But because this roof is so dirty, we're probably gonna have to pressure clean it before we can spray it. So I do like a light pressure clean and then spray it with the wet and forget. And that's how you prevent this kind of staining on a concrete tile. Watching our video on how to maintain tile roof. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us by calling 305 MIA roof or you can call us in Jupiter at 561-559-ROOF and you can find us on perkinsroofing.net email, you can Facebook us, Instagram us, call us or message on our YouTube video if you learned something. I really appreciate the feedback and also any subscribers. Um, thank you for watching and if you want me or one of my team to come out and do an estimate for you reach out. We're doing uh, Monroe County all the way up to St. Lucie County now. So reach out and hopefully we can help you out. Thank you.